It's the details that make a film great, I think especially in terms of a Disney animated film. And Sleeping Beauty has such a richness of detail uh, in, uh, in, the, in the design of Maleficent, for one thing, you know, uh, in the, the look of the, the royal court and the palace scenes uh, with the tapestries and all the intricate uh, uh, nature of the designs there. Uh, the heraldry and all of that that's on display. You know, this is not something you can just slough off. This takes a lot of research and a lot of thought and a lot of planning. Sleeping Beauty was really the first time a feature-length cartoon was given such an overt graphic treatment uh, and such a stylish one as well. In Sleeping Beauty, background influences character, character influences background. The two work as such a seamless, cohesive whole that I don't think uh, was ever achieved so well before and perhaps even after. Walt picked Ivan Earl to be the key man on uh, Sleeping Beauty and he had a wonderful style. It's probably the most unique style we've ever had. I think if Walt had not had someone like Ivan Earl there to lead the way I don't know if Sleeping Beauty would look as modern as it does today. He really was a modern artist uh, in every sense of that word. And his stylization for the film, I think, has kept it looking fresh for a long, long time. I think Sleeping Beauty was the first time, at least in my knowledge, that the studio really took an artist's particular style and translated that to the screen. Ivan Earl's style was so unique and so strong that the studio went with it. It would be, you know, to the same extent as saying, um, okay, let's everybody animate like Andrew Wyeth now, or let's everybody animate like Picasso now. You know, the style was was that unique that the studio decided not only to let Ivan Earl design the backgrounds, but also to try and design the characters to fit within those backgrounds, stylize them in such a way that they could still be turned and moved three-dimensionally, they could still act the way they needed to act, but were drawn with a graphic sophistication that uh, the studio had never ever seen before. I think it's really the high point of craftsmanship uh, that they achieved on Sleeping Beauty. When I came to work for Disney for the first time in my life, I was paid to paint. Up till then, I did my paintings weekends, on a vacation, at night. Suddenly, I was paid full salary and I could work six days a week and nights to do what I'd always wanted to do. So, of course, I grew as I never had before. <laughs>